So from the sublime to the ridiculous, we're going to close with some suggestions from cognitive science. And if you don't get a chance to ask a question, you've got my email address, and look at that, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> this is not my field of expertise. I have a PhD in computer science, so I'm always happy to say, I do a lot of reading in this area, but I don't have any certification or any degrees in it. But everything that I tell you is not just based on my own experience, it's based on research, which is very different from most conferences, especially Agile conferences. How much Agile recommendation is based on research? Anyone? Yes? Almost none. Almost none. What is it based on? Guestiness. <laughs> I was going to say enthusiasm. <laughs> Enthusiasm, it's good stuff. I tried it, it worked for me, so you should try it. So these are recommendations in that category as well because I'm not going to recommend anything that I personally haven't tried, but it's all based on research and I'm not going to cite, but if you'd happy, to, uh, I'd be happy to send you any paper or a pointer to the research if you say, I'd really like to read a little more about that. So here's my recommendation. We only have time for one. The most important thing that you can do to improve your personal productivity is stop sitting. How many people sit more than three hours a day? There's new research that shows that people who sit more than three hours a day, regardless of whether you are in good health or whether you exercise, you might go out and run marathons every day, but if you sit longer than three hours, you are more likely to die. <laughs> Hello. So wouldn't that be a good idea to try standing, try moving? So I'm taking a survey. As I go around the world, I ask people, what is the longest amount of time, I know you sit more than three hours, what's the longest amount of time you've ever sat staring in front of a computer screen not moving, not going to the toilet, just sitting. Call out a number. How many hours? Like 14. 14. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear 15? 14 hours. I was going to say up till this point, the record is 13. I have two people who say they have sat for 13 hours without moving. <laughs> so do we wonder about his biology? <laughs> or do we want to ask long haul truck drivers use some interesting things so they don't have to stop? I wonder, well, no, it's not a talk about that. So usually when I comment on how long that is, 14 hours, usually the person says, oh, but I found the bug, or fixed the problem, or, but you were playing games? Yeah. Fair point. <laughs> so much for personal productivity. <laughs> so we know that when you stare at a screen for 14 hours, you're going to be my new record holder. Where are you from? The Netherlands. Okay, the other two are from the UK, my other 13-hour guys. At least lift your eyes from the screen so you don't have time to do a lot of moving. You're hardwired to look at the horizon. Look at the horizon. You stare at the screen for any length of time, and after a while, you forget to blink. Your eyes dry out that immediately affects your productivity. So at least raise your eyes. If you have a window to look out, even better. But if you don't, look at something blue or something green. All of that has been shown to make your problem-solving ability and your decision-making much better. Stand up, move around a little bit, at least five minutes. And if you can walk around, even better. But what's really good? Lie down. Now you might have to explain to your manager what you're doing on the floor. 
So I'll be happy, remember, to send you that research if you want to pull that paper out of your back pocket to say, look, I'm increasing my personal productivity. <laughs> Now, I've been talking about this for a long time, and finally, finally, I think we're reaching a tipping point. Finally, people are starting to pay attention. Two years ago at the Agile conference, someone gave a talk about pair programming on a treadmill. So it's pretty easy, actually. The person who's doing the typing is on the treadmill, walking about 1.2 miles per hour, just an easy stroll. You can type, you can read, you can talk on the phone, you can read, you can do anything that you can normally do sitting at your desk on a treadmill. Companies are starting to make the treadmill desk. It's a very, in this version anyway, it's not very tall so that you can put a chair on it and sit down if you want. The desk has adjustable height. But most people I know in most organizations are going out to Craigs Craigslist, buying an old treadmill, stripping it down to just the bare essentials, going to Ikea, getting an adjustable desk and saying, voila, there it is. So you don't have to stand all day, you just want to slowly over time reduce the amount of time that you are sitting. And in the organization where pair programming is done on a treadmill, the person who is the assistant is standing to the side, and then when they're ready to switch, one gets off the treadmill and the other one gets on. Remember there's data, I don't know what's going on. There's research that shows this will increase your personal productivity, although it's not doing anything for my connection here. So I, I don't own any stock in the treadmill desk, and there are lots of people who are doing it. The interesting thing about this presentation at the Agile Conference is that the presentation itself was given on a treadmill. <laughs> Now let's see, will it work? Let's all say a silent prayer to the computer gods. Dear computer gods, please show this video. I'd really appreciate it. Ah, excellent. It's a movement. It's a nonprofit organization called juststand.org. Join the uprising. It worked. Yay. <laughs> Not just for your own personal productivity while you're working alone, but also in meetings. This is a quote from an executive at Kaiser Permanente who says, of course we have walking meetings. We know that there's a lot of research that shows the results of a meeting are pretty much the same, but by having a walking meeting or a standing meeting, what we can see is the time of the meeting is reduced by about 10 to 20 percent. I wonder how that works. So if you can get the same result in a shorter period of time, wouldn't that be productive? So this is a financial services company in Minneapolis 
where they all work on treadmill desks. And when it's time to have a meeting, they just roll the treadmill desks into the conference room and everyone is walking while they're having the meeting. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been in some pretty long meetings that I thought could have been cut shorter, and this is the way to do that. Everyone stand up or everyone get on the treadmill, and it will automatically increase productivity. So I'm encouraging you to try your own experiments. You've been sitting for days now. Wouldn't it be a good idea if maybe you might try standing up? You don't have to stand up all day, just stand for a little bit, get up, walk around. I think if we make that socially acceptable, that it's okay to stand up, that it's okay to walk around across the back, as long as you're not disturbing anyone else, we'll all be happier and healthier and you'll be smarter. Thanks for listening. <laughs> we have a time for a question. Yes? Stand up, yes. <laughs> I don't know of any. I don't know of any. I do remember, though, I worked for a while on the 777 airplane, and people came in and worked horrendous hours. And I do remember guys falling asleep on their keyboard and waking up, and they had big gashes on their broken nose. Yeah. So you can have an accident sitting down. Yeah. Yes? What are the noise levels on treadmills? These are... Uh, these are pretty quiet, and one of the reasons for that is that you're hardly moving. 1.2 miles per hour is just a very slow, gentle kind of stroll. You're not running, so you're not having the noise of your foot hitting the treadmill, and the, the motor isn't running very rapidly. So the noise... One of the other elements we could talk about is the noisy environment, which does have an impact on your thinking. As Agile moves us to open bullpens, I worry about that, because the research is pretty clear. We don't do as well with a lot of noise. So it, it, it doesn't seem to be a problem. And the ones that are built with the desk, the treadmill desk, they're very quiet. That's a good question. Yes, sir? Now, your, your three-hour thing in the beginning, was that sitting continuously, or is that the... It's just more than three hours a day. So total, total three hours a day. The, the interesting thing about us as a species is if you go back to the Stone Age, what they know pretty, pretty certainly is that we walked about 12 to 15 miles a day. We are walkers. We're designed to walk. We're not designed to walk fast. We're just designed to stroll and to keep moving. And what we all do now, and you can measure it around the globe, we're not getting as much sleep which is also bad for your brain, and we're sitting. And as a result, you can see the rise of a number of diseases, of the increase in weight. Did you see the movie WALL-E? That's where we're headed. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. So I tried standing for uh, a couple of months working. Uh, one thing there, wear good shoes. Well, and you, and you also have to move. I, I have a very small office at home, and so I have a standing desk. I don't have room for a treadmill. And if I don't move, then that is actually what's going to happen. You, that's why the treadmill is better. So just standing fixed, you know, there are lots of evidence for that in the military, that if you stand at attention, after a while you fall over. So you need to move. That increases the circulation in your legs. And you might not be able to stand long, because it takes uh, core body muscles. And if you sit all day, that was not really a joke. All the people leaned over. So if you do that all day, after a while, your core cannot support you. So you start leaning on things. And that's not so good either. So don't just immediately begin to stand all day in bad shoes and, you know, little tiny steps. Experiment. Yes, ma'am. So I, I often <clears throat> facilitate meetings where I try to make people stand. But the problem is that after a few minutes, they can't. start to lean on yep. things. Yep. What can I do? Can I, is it okay to tell them to stop that? <laughs> <laughs> chain them. Chain them to the desk. That's what I think. Let's get out the whips. No, it's just... 
a little experiment. Why don't we try standing for a few minutes and when you're tired, sit down. And then you could stand up again. It's the encouraging of a different position rather than having it be acceptable to sit. That that's the preferred position. So if somebody stands, there must be something wrong with them. So it's going to require a bit of a culture shift. And not everyone can stand for a variety of reasons. So you don't want to require it. You don't want to say you must stand. You just want to make it acceptable to stand and move around a little bit. So try a little experiment. Figure out what works for you to not sit for 14 hours without moving. <laughs> and, and you're young, you're not worried, but when I read research that says, this is going to cut your lifespan short, I pay attention. Yes? You were saying that sitting it kills people. I mean, people die from sitting. I would guess everybody died. But you know how long time it cuts off the span? I would claim that people die anyway, even to the standing up. Oh, no. What it, what, <laughs> what it shows is for people who don't sit, it, they do ra controlled experiments. So comparing populations where one population sits, the other an identical population stands, that's what they notice, is lifespan is reduced. A, a couple of years. And, and you're, I know you're thinking a couple of years, but let me tell you, a couple of years, no, I want those. I want those two years. Absolutely, you bet. And there are other health benefits as well. We can see increase in strokes, heart problems, high blood pressure that lead to those early deaths, and we're seeing those problems in children. So even our children sit way too much. Yes? Uh, one trend that uh, we've seen, in, in, at least I work in San Francisco, that's a bit disturbing is companies bringing lunch in, um, and we have found as a team that it's actually, uh, we walk to lunch, um, and the, I think that the, this trend towards kind of bringing everything in um, actually, it takes something that's a very obvious kind of part of the day in which to walk, to go to lunch, um, and it takes it away. And I, we have found as, as a team, just more like a comment than a question, that um, it's a way of, you know, kind of walking on a treadmill during a meeting, maybe a bit, um, it's a ma major culture shift perhaps. Walking to lunch probably is not. Um, and we found that we, we kind of brainstorm things in those walks. They yes. deliberately make them longer um, to, and, and have found them to be very productive as a team. Plus you're outside. Most of us spend those 14 hours inside. And I, I don't know about you, but I've been on projects where I came in when it was dark and I left when it was dark. I never saw a natural light for days. And that's not healthy either. So stepping outside and looking at a real tree, real grass, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing for your brain. So yes. Excellent suggestion. We've done a lot of things to change the way we work, not just the sitting, but as you say, there are other things as well. And it's the package that's bad. This is all we have time to talk about today, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. So start some small experiments. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>